AI avatars are getting kind of scary. Some look so real, you swear they were human. So in today's video, I partner with Wondershare Verbal to show you how you can create hyper-realistic AI avatars like this one that can handle all your marketing, content creation, or even be your digital spokesperson. If this works, it can save you hours of filming and editing. So how does this work and is this really worth it? Let's jump in and find out. And by the way, I made a video a while ago about Heijin, and that's another AI avatar tool. So today, let's just see if Wondershare Verbal does it better. Let's go. When you first open Verbal, you will see this well-organized interface with two main sections. On the left-hand side, there's a navigation panel to access Home, My Creations, assets like avatars and AI voice that you can create, and you have the AI tools such as AI video generator and AI clip generator. And you can click on more to see more tools. And I'm gonna show you some features include talking photo and video translator. In the middle of the screen, you can see many avatars right away. They have tons of different looking avatars. You have different genders, different ethnicities, with different like clothes and background options. You can just browse through and pick whoever you want to represent your brand. All right, so now let's create an AI avatar video. You can hover your mouse here, create video, and you can choose landscape or portrait. I'm just gonna select landscape, so 16, nine to get started. Once you're on this page, you can choose an avatar to get started with your video. When you scroll down, you will see all these avatars and some of them have this 4K label. And for me, they do look a bit better quality. Now, let me just try this female avatar over here, Laura and I'll just enter the script I want her to say. For the voice, you need to click here to select something that you think suits Laura. So let's try this. Ideas are the beginning points of all fortunes. I don't know about this. Let's see something else. The greatest way to live with honor in this world is to be what we pretend to be. Let's try this one. So if you click on this play button, you can just hear the voice, but this is just to preview the voice. You will see the full animation with lip sync in the final video. So let's see. Hey there, I am Laura, your new virtual assistant. Okay, so I am happy with the voice. Let's generate and export the video. And now let's see the results. Hey there, I am Laura, your new virtual assistant. I'm like a regular assistant, but I never need coffee breaks or vacation days. What can I help you with today? Wow, I don't know about you, but I think this is pretty realistic. And she actually reminds me of Janet, you know, in The Good Place. She's always like, hey there, I'm Janet. But anyways, as you can see, the facial expressions and like body movements are actually quite natural. I'm pretty impressed. Of course, you can still see this is AI, but I think this will only get better and better. And another thing I really like is that you can customize backgrounds for avatars that have transparent backgrounds. So for example, I can take this Shenlun avatar and change his background. So you can click here, backgrounds, and you can have a look. So I'm thinking something more like a business conference room. So let's have a look. Here you can change the background. Let's choose this one. And now it blends in really naturally. And you can even upload your own photo. So I have this bathroom, beautiful bathroom photo over here. And I'm actually gonna have him present a new toothpaste brand. Same as before, I'm gonna choose a voice. And now I've chosen a voice, let's generate. Okay, let's have a look. Introducing Glow Smile. It's toothpaste that glows in the dark because brushing wasn't weird and not already. So yeah, the background switching feature works really well with these avatars. You can see the final video here looks quite professional and natural. It's like he's actually in this bathroom here presenting. Next, let me show you the video translation feature. I've used Hadron for this before, so I'm quite familiar with the concept. Now I'll take the video which is generated, you know this Shenlun video, and I'll select Chinese as our target language. And as you can see, you have some advanced settings. So always check lip sync and you can check subtitle or proofread video script. Okay, so let's translate. Okay, after a few minutes, our translated video is ready. So now let's check this out. Yeah, right. So I do speak Chinese and the pronunciation and the tone here is just perfect. So this will be a perfect way if you want to reach global audience. 
Now, this next feature really surprised me. The talking photo feature. It brings still images to life with voice and subtle movements. So now let's test this with an AI-generated image. First, I generated a profile picture of a young British guy in ChatGPT. But you could also use Verbo's built-in AI image generator for this. So once you have your photo, you can click on Create Video. For my British guy, I'll pick a British male voice. The less effort, the faster and more powerful you will be. Yeah, I think this one's perfect with this British accent. So I'm going to select it. So if you want, you can also use this AI script generator here. But I generated something with ChatGPT, so let's copy this. And now let's generate. We can choose the animation mode. The pro one has more lifelike effects, but I'm going to stay with standard. OK, now let me show you the results. There's a rare sort of peace in these lands. The air carries whispers of history. The earth holds secrets untold. A man could lose himself here and perhaps be found anew. Wow, I absolutely love it. I think this looks so good and it will be a really good like social media clip if you want to catch people's attention. So just imagine you can generate a photo with AI and then generate a video. And depending on your use case, I don't think it's that big of a deal if people know it's AI. Now onto something fun, the AI kiss and hug generator. So what I did is that I just generated a couple photo in ChatGPT and I uploaded it here. Then when you generate a video, you do need one card for this. You get something like this. Now, as you can see, this lovely couple was looking at the camera and then suddenly they just started kissing. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So I think this could be a fun personal project or really useful for commercials if you just need a quick like kissing or hugging clip. Now, let me show you this one last thing about AI voice. So Verbal has two really cool voice features. First, there's this text-to-speech feature. And here you can see tons of different built-in voices you can choose from. So you just type in whatever script you want and it generates this super realistic audio like we saw in the video generator feature. Then there's this voice cloning feature, which is different. So with this one, you're actually cloning your own voice. So if you want to do this, there's this neat tutorial they have about cloning your voice. And I suggest you watch it because it explains how you can quickly record samples and then clone your voice to speak in multiple languages with your own voice. So based on everything I've just tested, I think there are two types of people who will really love verbal. First, if you're a content creator who runs a faceless YouTube channel or social media accounts, you can use an AI avatar as your host. You can make videos without showing your face and translate your content into different languages to reach more audience. And if you're in marketing, I can see how Verbo can eliminate all that hassle of finding actors, training them, making them memorize the scripts, and not even mention to rent the studios. You can make spokesperson videos without hiring anyone and make ads really quickly. So now let me show you an example of how this works. So let's say I'm making tech review videos. I could pick an avatar, for example, Henry here as my host. I'll write a quick script about the new iPhone camera features and generate a video with him in this professional looking background. The iPhone 16 is here and it's a game changer. A 48 MP Ultra Pro camera, crisper, sharper, more detail than ever. Then I could translate it to different languages to reach more viewers around the world. Check this out iPhone 16 आ गया है और यह खेल बदलने वाला है। Une caméra ultra pro 48 mai plus net, plus précise et plus détaillée que jamais. This saves you a lot of time since you don't need to film yourself or film someone or worry about how you look, and you can focus on creating more good content. All right, so now let's talk about what this all costs and if it's actually worth it. So they have three plans here. You have the starter plan, which is 19.9 per month. And then you have the creator plan, 27.9, and also the advanced plan. So the differences on these plans are the credits you get. With the starter plan, you get 15 credits, which means 15 minutes of video. And if you're a creator, so you need more content per month, I think this creator plan uh, will be more enough. 
because you get 30 minutes of video. Of course, you have advanced plan as well. And if you pay yearly, then of course you get a better deal for all these three plans. All right, that's today's video. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Would you use Verbo for your videos? And if you want to try it for yourself, click on the link in the description box down below to get started with Verbo today. If you like today's video, give me a thumbs up, smash the subscribe button to get more AI tips that actually work. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.